Hey guys, this is Chris Awake. Welcome back to the third part of the Ultimate Cheap Travel Guide. Last time we talked about the essential items you need for your next backpacking trip. Today I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about hitchhiking. Stay tuned. Hitchhiking is when you get to a highway or a petrol station, take your thumbs up and wait for a car to pick you up. A driver gives you a lift towards your destination, which might be a next city. If you want to be a hitchhiker, make sure you don't have any deadlines. It might take you five minutes to get a car or five hours to take a car. In worst case scenario, you might end up sleeping on a highway or a petrol station. Keep that in mind. Although hitchhiking solo can get lonely and boring sometimes, traveling in twos is three times harder because not a lot of drivers have space for two people or they might get intimidated by two strangers in the back. If you're afraid to travel alone, you can go ahead and check out the Hitchhike Facebook group. There's a lot of travelers that want to get from point A to point B. You can join them or they can join you on your trip. Check it out. Trust me, you're not the first person to travel the world for free. Hitchviki.org is an amazing website with a huge community and it's gonna be your go-to bible of hitchhiking. It's pretty simple, you just have to search for the city you're in, decide where you wanna go north, south, east or west, take the public transport out of the town, this petrol station, probably walk a couple of kilometers and eventually jump over a fence. Make sure you have enough water and a bit of snack to survive the day. You empty your bladder before you get into the car. Do your best to look colorful, this way the driver can see you better and they tend to think you have personality. I know it's gonna get sunny and you're gonna be blinded and you might be tempted to put some glasses on. But please do not do this because people cannot see your eyes, meaning they cannot see your soul. To the driver, you might seem like you have something to hide and you definitely don't want that. Be a friendly hitchhiker instead. <laughs> Suspicious, etc. Maybe we must put the mustache, you know, maybe. It's better to be shaven. Because people think you're younger, they're like, oh, let's pick this cute kid, you know. He's just a boy. Although 25, I'm not a boy. At the end of the day, you want to look like a sharp traveler, not a homeless person. Make sure you know your checkpoints before you talk to the driver, aka the names of the small towns towards your destination. From my experience, I found that hitchhikers' golden hour is between 10 to 12 a.m. People tend to be more chill and eager to pick someone up. This would be the best time to pick your first driver of the day. Location is key. Think like a driver. If you're on the highway, make sure you're visible from far, far away. All right, it's not that bad. There's a nice, lovely place to stop. People will see me, should be okay. Should be okay. On the petrol station, you should stand by the exit just before they speed up. And this is my spot. It's a perfect spot. Definitely the car's gonna pick me up eventually. Vienna. In some situations, you might want to ask around if they can give you a lift. Brussels? Oui. Yeah? Correct. John. English. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you're a solo traveler and you've been waiting for more than 30 minutes in one spot, that means the spot is really bad and you need to relocate. That means going a little bit further, looking for a spot where they can see you clearly. Uh, there's enough space to stop and it's safe to stop and it's not illegal to stop for them there. Always travel with a marker. Grab some cardboard and make yourself a sign. The sign can go in your favor or against you. I usually take it for 20 minutes. If it doesn't help, I'll just stay with a thumbs up instead. If you're hitchhiking, might as well give those people a show. Put some earphones on, play some music, wave, dance. Smile, fake it till you make it. Do your best to stay positive because nobody wants a sad traveler on their seat. Once the driver stops, get to the car as fast as you can. Got to run, got to run, got to run. Oh. 
to get there, be polite, ask around if they're going towards your direction or not. Uh, I'm going to Sazaba only, which is not so far. So not so I'm, far. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm Thank sorry. You. No worries. Thank uh, you. Have a nice one. If they're going only a couple of kilometers to a bad spot or maybe in the wrong direction, politely decline, say thank you, I'll grab another car, have a nice day. Hi, going together? Yeah. Yes. If you're a solo traveler like me, you'll love to talk, you know, you'll want someone to talk to and you'll say like, my name is Chris, this is what I do, I travel around, yada, yada, yada. And I guess subscribe, right? Yeah. <laughs> and if there's two of you, one of you might be sleeping and the other one might chit chat. Oh, and there's a block also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he told me a lot of stuff about Lithuania while you were asleep, okay? <laughs> you were asleep and I was just learning. In addition towards the end of the drive, don't be afraid to ask for an extra mile. If you are nice enough, they can give you an extra 10 kilometers, you know, just for the heck of it. This gentleman just gave me the best ride. So he went an extra 20 and now 20 back, 40 kilometers for me, you know. Muchas gracias, señor. Your safety on hitchhiking highly depends on how good you can read body language. A Dodge car came in with two guys in the front and one guy in the back. It was like a cabin. He was just laying in the cabin. I was like, yeah, yeah, sit down, no problem. I'm like, no, no. If you smell something fishy or something is just a bit off, this is where you should decline the ride. Highly advise you to keep noticing license plates. In some case, memorize them or take photos, send them to your friend or a family member, and let them know from where you're going to where you're going and what are the license plates. This way you'll have some leverage in case something bad happens. Avoid hitchhiking after 5 p.m. That's where the sunset is about to go down. It's only freaking seven five to seven and it's pure dark and i have no idea how can i get those 40 kilometers to go in case this happens i highly advise you to wear reflective clothing in addition grab yourself a flashlight and light yourself up yeah you so you try to light up yourself it worked for me back in Lithuania once when i was hitchhiking 11 pm so it's an option one of the options might be this way you'll be at least barely visible and you won't be killed. Obviously, I'm a guy, you know, I can defend myself a bit. If you're a girl, you might be tempted to buy a pepper spray. But keep in mind, in a car, pepper spray in a car, it can go bad for both sides. So I hope nothing like that is gonna happen to you. Do your best to look unattractive. I don't know how that works, but you know, maybe, you know, cover your beautiful curves by a lot of clothing, especially in the East, for example, Turkey, you have the culture, the women have to wear a uh, hijab, for example. As long as you do not drive after five, you know, keep your family, friends posted where you are, where you're going, send them license plates, you know, you should be fine. In the end, don't be discouraged by hitchhiking. You'll meet loads of wonderful people. Some of them used to hitchhike the same way you're hitchhiking now, back in the day. They want to hear your story, they want to be part of your journey. Not only do they want to give you an extra mile, they might give you some food or give you shelter for a night. There's a lot of nice people out there and you'll definitely meet them while you hitchhike. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up if you did. As a hitchhiker, you have to start somewhere. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. There's gonna be a Q&A on the very end of the series. For my next video, I'm gonna give you some safety tips in general once it comes to traveling. And yeah, this was Chris Awake. Love you people. Peace out. And a bit of snack.